Hey everyone, and welcome to Letty Does Doctor Who. So, in the last episode, the Doctor and the rest of the gang take a trip to... What was it? Vila... Something. Um, they travel in time because they want to see the creation of the Frankenstein book? Or what led to the creation of it? So, they end up in some guy's summer home and start noticing that weird things are happening. That um, walls seem to be shifting, that people seem to be disappearing, and they don't know why. So it's set up to be like a ghost story. And for Graham, it actually is. He's left alone and he sees two ghosts, so... Yeah, they didn't explain that. But anyway, um... Eventually, the doctor realizes that it's not just their imagination, that the house is actually moving, and they don't know why. Um, upon interrogating the other house members there, uh, the doctor comes to learn of one of the people saying that he saw a man on fire standing in the middle of the lake, which piques the doctor's curiosity about the man on fire. So sure enough, they look out the window and there actually is a guy not on fire, but being struck by lightning. And um, the doctor gets very concerned because being struck by lightning so many times in the same place shouldn't happen. Uh, the doctor figures out that the entire house is actually trying to protect itself by shifting its temporal field to kind of mess with people's perception of reality so that they can't navigate successfully through the house because a Cyberman has invaded it. And uh, just like Jack had said, it's the lone Cyberman that they should beware. Um, eventually they do find the man that had gone missing and had initially said he saw the man on fire in the basement of the house, he says that he is guarding this, um, uh, what is it? A liquid uh, metal database of the Cyberman's history that the Cyberman is then trying to retrieve from the guy. Um, the doctor defends the guy by absorbing it into herself but then realizing that she's not left with many other options after that, she eventually does have to give it to the Cybermen. So, um, the rest of her gang was pretty disappointed in her uh, get handing it over. And she basically says that her entire plan revolves around causing a mess and needing to fix a mess. So, now is entering the second stage of her plan, fixing the mess. So, I believe they said they have to go into the future to fix whatever she's done. I don't know if they're going to be able to do that in, what, one episode? But, uh, I'm excited to see. Doctor Who, Series 12, Episode 9, Ascension of the Cybermen. Let's get started. I like that opening, that was creepy. That's a tripod! That's an Amazon tripod! I knew it! Those look like wine corks for the... for the top. Ooh, this motherfucker is gonna be the first to die, huh? <laughs> Ryan feels so much pressure right now. <laughs> yeah, those look like just a bunch of wine quirks. <laughs> like, <laughs> nice. Why are you already closing his eyes? He didn't even check for a pulse. I know. Oh, is she gonna snap at them? Oh, yep, she did. This isn't a democracy. <laughs> I 
Oh, is that the lone Cyberman guy? That guy was so cheery less than five minutes ago. Ah, oh, they're going on that... that thing. Oh, nice. It's like that thing at the fair or something. Well, that's very uncharacteristic. Well, teenagers, basically, I used to do this a lot and people got mad. I was going to save all our lives. So who was right all along? <laughs> basically, I used to do this a lot and people got mad. Nice. He wants to serve. Best the lad speak. Is that guy the lone Cyberman? And how's that working for us? It's the best we've got. And what bound are you talking about? Oh, now this guy is all fucking pessimistic and shit. You already said that. Okay. I guess that's what he's gonna do. But there's no hole in his chest. Is that guy an alien or something? I mean, they're just hibernating, not dead. Channel the remaining energy off those systems. That's what you need. Burst of acceleration. <laughs> Let's all die! She says that while smiling. Okay. So we channel I mean, but they don't know the Cyberman ship has oxygen. Here we go. Well, but the last time that they were stranded in space, they were saved, though. I mean, if there's so few Cybermen left, I don't know why they're okay with killing humans. Are you gonna keep going on about that? Yes, every hour on the hour. <laughs> Graham, amazing. It's company rhyming slang. No, don't worry about it. What are you talking about? I like strange. Huh? Oh. <laughs> amazing. They better go tell the guy to stop turning things on. Well, she's not human, so... Yep! <laughs> what the hell is he doing? That guy, right? That guy's the last Cyberman? The lone Cyberman? Dear God, what the hell? Oh, that's a cool shot. It's a... It's a wormhole to Gallifrey? Oh my god, what? It's about to change forever. What? I'm sorry. Okay, it just ended. Okay, so I know that the master was going to have to somehow be involved with the Cybermen again, because he always is. You know, that always happens. It's just a thing. Um, however, I thought that since, you know, he wasn't there anymore, and now, now he's appearing again with no explanation! So, you know what? I'm not even gonna... I'm not gonna bother, because... They don't bother with the writing. So, guess he's just back now. Whatever. Um, there were some cool shots, though, in that. Um, I did like the whole opening the doors at once thing. That looked really cool. 
There, there were just a lot of scenes that visually looked really interesting, so um, I hope that we do get to see that again some more. Um, I... I'm a bit confused as to why they decided to take certain routes, but, um, sure. <sighs> I'm so confused. They're gonna explain it. I'm not even gonna bother trying to diagnose all this because obviously they're just setting a bunch of stuff up that they're going to try to explain later, regardless if it actually makes sense or not, so. Mm, yeah, there's that. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. I'm mostly just confused, but that's basically all I got for you for now. So get out there, do all this stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everyone, Letty here. Just trying on another outfit for my winter of workout wear try on haul, February 2020. And if you want to see me work out while wearing this bowl riding outfit, then you can go ahead and vote for it by checking out that video down there. Bye!